going to demonstrate um, an exam a maneuver called the Thompson test for Achilles tears. My patient was very kind to allow me to do this. Uh, so he injured his uh, Achilles over here on, on the right side. The patient is lying face down. Uh, this is the side that is not injured. So we're going to do it. It's called the Thompson test. Okay, this is the best way to do it. It's very difficult to actually do it sitting down. You want to have your patients lie down. You bring the foot up. And then what you do is you do the, the, the calf squeeze gently and you tell the patient to just relax and you watch the foot. So can you bring the camera over here so you can really get a look? So see, you watch the foot. See, the foot goes down. That's called plantar flexion. This is a normal exam. Okay, that means that the Achilles is working. Everything is fine. And then when we go to the affected leg, I do the same maneuver. See, there's almost no movement. The only reason why there's trace movement, trace, is because the, the toe flexors are still intact, and the toe flexors are over here as well. But there really is no real good motion, mo motion downward like there is here. So we do it one more time. See, big difference. I do it one more time. Now the reason why I'm showing you this is because the uh, Achilles tears are one of the most often missed tears in the emergency room and in the clinics. Very easy test. I didn't even need an MRI. I know there's actually a significant rupture here. We already got the MRI and it shows us the tear. So that's it. Just wanted to show you guys a very, very good way to do an exam for a Achilles rupture. Thank you.